When we are adding an aftermarket amplifier to a car and using the factory system to provide musical signal for that amplifier, there is a very important term we must understand called signal summing. Without proper signal summing, it's possible that we could have weak bass, missing vocals, or unimpressive highs. So what is signal summing and how do we use a signal summing device? How can we determine what wires in the vehicle we need to connect to in order to send a full range signal to our amplifier? Hey my friends, I'm Mark. Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Let's get in to some signal summing. To get started, first off, what the heck is signal summing? Well, that's simple enough. It's adding some of the different speaker level signals from our factory amplifier together. I think the better question though is why would you want to sum these speaker level signals together? To answer this question, we're going to use the Car Audio Fabrication Integration Test Center. And just so you guys understand what this is, if you haven't seen it before, this is a factory premium system pulled out of a car. It has the factory head unit, it has a factory amplifier, and I've wired each of the outputs from this amplifier down to these connections here. Many times with factory premium amplifiers, since we have multiple different speakers in the vehicle in multiple different locations, it's obviously gonna split up those different signals. In the case of this amplifier, we have a left and right tweeter, which the tweeter speaker plays our high frequencies. We then have a left and right mid range, which is also in the front of the vehicle. Then in the back of the vehicle, we have leads for the full range signal. And then we also couple that with the subwoofer signal, which gives us our lows. Now I wanna show you guys something here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in to one of these signals. So I've got a test device here called an RTA hooked up to the speaker level outputs of this amplifier. And we can see the readout here on the computer. And this is where I wanna demonstrate why we need signal summing. The speaker signal I'm tapped into is for the right rear speaker. And let's imagine that we've taken that signal and we're not using a summing device and we're going straight into our aftermarket amplifier with a line output converter or something like that, something to convert the signal, what we would get is this signal sent to our amplifier. And the problem here is let's imagine that we're adding like a six by nine speaker to the back of the vehicle. A six by nine speaker is going to be playing some bass as well, but as you can see, this signal from the factory amplifier it really rolls off the bass starting at like 200 hertz. It doesn't have a whole lot of bass response. The reason for signal summing and needing something like this is so that we can add that signal to the next signal I'm gonna show you. Now we're tapped into the separate subwoofer signal from our factory amplifier here, and you can see that this brings in our lows. So if we did wanna add something like a six by nine speaker to the back of the vehicle, we not only want these lows, we want the mids and highs as well, everything added to together, and that is why we need a summing device. Understand that adding six by nines to the back of the vehicle, that's just an example. There are many different reasons why you would need a summing device, ultimately so that you have control of the full signal that is going to your aftermarket amplifier. So let's say you know that you have a factory premium system where you have multiple different speakers that are bandwidth limited, like tweeters and mid-range speakers, all broken out. You know that you need a summing device. The next question that I get all the time is, well, Mark, what exact wires, like what color wires do I need to tap into on, you know, X vehicle in order to get a full range signal summed together? Which one should I add together? Unfortunately, the best answer for this is you need to do the testing on your own. The reason for that is even though there's databases that will tell you the different wire color codes for each speakers, there's no database out there really that will give you the frequency response for each of these speaker connections. And additionally, even if you did have some of that information, the car manufacturers, they like to constantly change this up. They might switch suppliers for an OEM tweeter and they decide, okay, we're just gonna start having a different tune in these. It can change. So really the best way to figure out what you need to do is to do your own testing. Do notice though that I said that's the best way to go about this. If you really need to, you can make an educated decision. Usually if you add a tweeter to a front mid-range speaker, you're gonna get much more of a full range signal. You might be missing a little bit of the lower information below 100 hertz. But if you don't have the ability to test, sometimes you just have to make do and make educated decisions. So for really getting the best test results, I recommend using an RTA. Now in a second here, I wanna show you real-time results of summing some of these different channels to 
together using a DSP. But really quick, I did want to thank our monthly channel sponsor, Audio Control, and tell you guys a little bit about this device here, the DMRTA. The DMRTA is designed to be a testing tool for professionals. Obviously, one of the first things we can do when we have a system in the bay is we can determine the frequency response of our channels. We can also use the DMRTA as a voltage meter to determine what line output converter type solutions we should use. We can connect a microphone and use it as an SPL meter. We can also use the microphone with the polarity checker feature. And there's oscilloscope functionality that we can use to look at the waveform. Tons of different options for inputs and output functionality. If you guys want to learn more about this, check out the link down in the video description. So now I want to show you some channel summing in real time. So what I've done is I've taken a digital signal processor, in this case Audio Control's DM608, and I've wired into the speaker level signal from our factory premium amplifier. Right now I've only connected to the rear speaker and the rear subwoofer channel as I was describing to you guys earlier, and I want to show you in the example of something like getting signal for a 6x9 speaker on our after market amplifier. Now if you don't know what a DSP is, this is basically a souped up crazy version that gives us total control of the audio signal, a lot more control than something like a simple summing line output converter. And the reason I've connected this DSP is you can see right now I'm connected to it with the computer and I can see this signal analysis. In other words, I'm no longer using the DMRTA. This is a unique feature which is really cool about Audio Control's DSPs is they have the ability to look at the electrical signal that is coming into the DSP. So right now we're looking at the rear speaker and if I switch to inputs one and two, that's where I've connected the subwoofer signal. So what we need to do is add this subwoofer signal to this full range signal. So this is simple enough. You can see there's this box right here for output summing. I'm going to sum channels one and two plus that channel number three. And if we look at our graph here now, you can see that I've now summed to a completely full range signal. I have all the mids and highs for our speaker and I also have the nice low bass. Now we could of course use the digital signal processor to correct that equalization as well. If you guys wanna see a video where I talk about DSPs, crossovers, equalizers, line output converters, how to determine which product you need to actually integrate with a vehicle, you guys can check out that link up in the corner of the screen. But now you have a better idea what signal summing is and why you would potentially need it for your car audio system. Don't forget to learn more about the DMRTA from Audio Control. Check it out at the link down in the video description. A special thanks to them for being a monthly channel sponsor, along with Lonnie, Ali, William, Marcos, Jerry, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. Big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. And thank you for watching.